Oh, yes. Finally, 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 finally. As I'm sure most of you guys are aware, Jose Mourinho has been relieved of his duties as Manchester United manager this morning. Whether he was fired, whether he walked, whether it was a mutual agreement, is neither here or there. But finally, the dark cloud that had descended upon Old Trafford and had consumed our entire season with negativity and complaints and excuses and reconciling and talking about his old achievements at his previous clubs has finally come to an end for most united fans out there um i think we were kind of hoping this would happen a bit sooner we were kind of um dreading the fact that we were going to wait until it was mathematically impossible to finish the top four in order for decision to be made if we look back on the previous decisions that have been made by the board but luckily the board who've kind of been a bit inept in terms of the hiring process in terms of the funds that have made available to the manager in terms of player recruitment have done one thing right and they finally got rid of the one person at the club who we could have got rid of in order to kind of enact some kind of change i think for those people out there especially the fans who are kind of Mourinho out it's probably a bit of a bummer because maybe you're waiting to see some of the players go who are not applying themselves who weren't showing up to games who were who are only playing um it with it no slightly within their potential in order to kind of force Mourinho to come out of the club some of you people will be annoyed but unfortunately with the economics of football it's very difficult to get rid of five or six players at once than it is to get rid of one manager now going forward I think with Mourinho out of the equation I think what we've seen is that the failures of the previous managers have in part been a due to a lot of varying factors it's not solely Mourinho's fault it's not solely the boardroom's fault it's not solely Ed Woodward's fault it's not solely the players fault I think collectively we all have some responsibility to take within the situation now what needs to happen going forward is I'm hoping the structures around the club is going to allow whatever manager that does get hired the best possible opportunity in order to succeed I think hiring a manager like Mourinho and then denying him the ability to sign the players who he wants, not having the structure in and around him in order to kind of make the football decisions that need be, not allowing him to recruit the players he needs to have ahead of time is an absolute failure and also goes to show that if Mourinho has been relieved of his duties that maybe we need to look above board and look at people like Ed Woodward who have kind of been hailed as the financial brains behind the club but has also dipped his toes within the football side, maybe he needs to be relieved of his duties within the football side of the club. If he's done good job in the financial end for Man United then no then no problem I'm more than happy for him to sit down in his chair and organize deals for noodle companies and whatever it may be that he's doing on that regard but not have any involvement in football but if he wants to be involved in Manchester United and still have a say within the football side of it then he has to be told to stay the hell out of the room I think going forward now, there's been rumours um, of the next manager that we're going to hire. But I think the statements coming out so far from the club is that Mourinho has been relieved of his duties. And it's a bit of a strange situation because supposedly the idea is that McKenna and McCarrick are going to take over training and operations of the club for the next two days. Then we're going to hire an interim manager to come and take over until the end of the season. And then we're going to hire a permanent manager in the summer. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds a bit weird. I don't know if Real Madrid did the same thing with Santiago Solari. I'm pretty sure what happened with Solari was that when Lepotegui was relieved of his duty Solari came in as an interim coach because I'm sure he was an under-19 coach for Real Madrid then when he did a good job and kind of did two good performances and the players were raving about him and it was a bit of a changed atmosphere they then gave him another I think two or three year contract so I think that makes more sense instead of having uh, Carrick and McKenna another interim coach and another coach with effectively three managers by the, by the end of the summer which is a bit crazy now, maybe Kenna and Carrick are going to get the opportunity to kind of show that they are going to uh, improve the side. They might be given a, a trial shift or maybe the fact that McKenna and Carrick are being given um, that time in order to kind of take over a profession of the club is just standard practice because most of the time when managers do get fired from clubs, the assistants and um, coaching staff from that manager's team also get released of their duties. But because of the nature of McKenna uh, being a club legend, having seen what he's done with the youth team and also Carrick and what he's done with the the first team i think maybe they might have given them a bit of grace and told them look we know it's not totally you you guys came in towards the end too when rifaria left i think Carrick was promoted and kind of given chance to become uh part of Reno's coaching staff so maybe that is a reason behind the changes and maybe there might be a bit of restructuring with the club where Carrick might be moved into other positions and so sort of mckenna does as well the same thing so they might not want to get rid of them completely out of the side but it does seem a bit strange that they're going to hire three sets of different managers uh, by the end of the summer 
Now, going forward, I would like to see someone like Mauricio Pochettino hired for the club. I think overall, what we've seen going forward, what we've seen in the past is that when we hired managers, we've had big CVs like Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get the best out of them because we didn't have the structure in and around them in order to kind of get the best out of their talents. I think with Mourinho and Louis van Gaal, maybe Louis van Gaal towards the end, he did come with a bit more of an attacking CV or an attacking uh, way of playing football. I think Mourinho, when we hired him, we did know exactly what was on the tin. We knew we were going to get pragmatic football we're going to get win at all cost football that are going to allow us to kind of get back where we kind of thought we kind of quote unquote belonged but i think overall we over in during the process of the whole uh campaign i think after the europa league win it kind of did go a bit downhill after the seville game and after he didn't get any of, your, of, of his signings during pre-season he completely threw his toys out the pram threw everyone under the bus including the young players including the players that are already at the club including the center backs who I think a lot of managers, a lot of supporters can agree are terrible. But I think when Mourinho is coming out publicly stating that he needs better centre-backs in order to kind of play the brand of football that he needs at the club, I think the players that are already there are not going to be full of any confidence. And his ongoing battle with Pogba, Martial, Luke Shaw didn't probably win him any favours with some of the members of the team either. So I think going forward, what we do need, we need a, a manager who's going to be able to lift the mood. We need a manager that's going to be able to play an attacking brand of football. And we're also going to need a manager that's going to be able to maybe operate within the limits and the confines we have within the club. If, it's, if, we're, if we're led to believe that the Glazers are selling the club, we might be we might be in a situation where there might not be as many funds available as some managers would maybe need in order to kind of make the changes as needed. So they're going to need to essentially coach the players and get the best out of them. I think some people out there, I think I've seen Stephen Housen mention this from Full Time Devils. He's someone who's a bit skeptical on the idea that managers can actually improve players that much more or make teams that much better. He thinks in general, usually uh, teams that have good players, teams that have a good structure in around them, regardless of the manager gets chucked in, usually do well anyway. Whilst I agree with some sentiment of that I think in our regard I think no one can argue that we have the spine or the basis of the temp you know the rough outline of a pretty decent side no one can tell me a midfield of Ferreira of oh, sorry of Fred Pereira Mata Pogba Herrera on his good day even Matic if he's given a bit of a rest and rotated well within the side cannot get a better performance than we've seen against Liverpool the other week I think if we get a manager that can operate within the confines of the club who can maybe operate with maybe a limited budget even though we are a big club we can maybe try and get the best out of the players that's available and then can maybe gain some confidence from the supporters and maybe the board to give him more money I think we then will be on a, on a good track so I would like to hire a manager like Marie, uh, Pochettino in there I think as a down will maybe be the wrong choice for now it might be a good choice later like a, a, a post Pochettino kind of hiring for later on I think I wouldn't be against an Eddie Howe getting hired. But again, I think maybe it might be too soon for Eddie Howe. I think Eddie Howe might be an appointment that might come after Pochettino once the structure's been fit, once the structure's been uh, locked into place and we've got a director of football, we've got people within the club who can make the football decisions that aren't Ed Woodward. I think maybe then you can hire in a Poch an, an, an Eddie Howe when you maybe bring through a bit more, a couple more youngsters. You maybe, you maybe sign a couple more senior players to kind of, you know, uh, have a bit of leadership in the team. Then you can hire those kind of managers. But I think overall, try point Pointing our arrow at a manager that's only won leagues as a requirement, who's only won Champions League as a requirement, is maybe the wrong way to go. We've seen that it doesn't kind of work right now because we don't have the structure to maybe get the best out of that kind of manager going forward. I think for the players of the club now, they also have no excuse for the players who are kind of underperforming and not really pulling their socks up and giving it all for the club. I think those players now have finally got the person who they kind of blamed for most of the issues out of the club. So now we're hoping to see a different level of performance. I also think there's an aspect of it that needs to be understood for some fans out there that the days of players just performing regardless of who's playing are kind of over and they've probably been over for a long time anyway i think um most teams are about mood are about relationships within the squad we've seen with Liverpool the fact that they were able to bring on Shakiri, who kind of changed the game against us and scored two brilliant goals even though they were deflections you kind of saw with, with these post-match comments after the game you've seen with, Fabi with Fabinho who's kind of maybe only got a run in the team now that you need a full squad on board and happy with the direction of the team obviously it helps when you're winning but you need a, a manager who's able to have the whole squad 
happy with where the team is going and happy to be out, uh, maybe not be playing one week and maybe come in one week and help out the team. You need that harmony to be around the club in order to kind of get the best out of the players you have available. I think we saw that with Alex Ferguson, who's probably the master of allowing, of kind of um, cultivating an atmosphere, a good feeling atmosphere, even the players that weren't involved. I think we need that going forward. I think we saw too often with Mourinho that he had these favourites within the club and you can't blame him for some respect because I think he, didn't, he couldn't get what he wanted out of the players that he was trying to get his action from so he then just relied on playing his favourites the people that he knew would run through a brick wall for him the Matiches the Herreras towards the end because even Herrera wasn't a favourite of Mourinho's towards the beginning um, but then in the end he kind of started relying on him putting his hat on him and McTominay uh, Luke Shaw, who was kind of derided from the beginning, and Lukaku too. He just picked his favourites, regardless of how they were informed, regardless of how it worked in the team, even the Fellaini for some extent. And then that kind of did hamper us in the end going forward. Again, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm insanely, 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 insanely happy. But I hope going forward, we restructure the club overall. We kind of get the things in place that's going to allow the next manager in order to kind of do the best possible job that they can do. Hope we don't go out and sign a manager just based on their CV again. We need someone to come in who understands the DNA of the club, who understands where we want to go. Who also understands that the nature of the football coaching overall, the world, whole, worldwide, especially with the top teams, has kind of progressed from just hiring managers in who have got a long, long, long track record of, of winning trophies. You need managers in who are going to marry up maybe the achievements of trophies and also the footballing culture dna of the overall overall club we've got so many young players coming through from under 18 to under 92 reserves that also need to be given a chance we've got players in the club now who are maybe being underutilized players on loan that we can kind of maybe bring back and kind of give them a chance on the team we've got so many possibilities that we need but we need a manager to be able to kind of work and use those constraints for the time being and maybe a development going forward for Jose Mourinho himself i think um he's still got a chance to maybe re resurrect his career i think what we see now and i think Mourinho maybe has understood now now, maybe for himself, if he's honest with himself, is that he can't come into a club and rebuild it from the ground up. I think without the structure in and around himself, he cannot do it. I think they got proved. I think the job was just too big for him. Not in terms of the achievements level, because obviously he's shown he could win the Europa League. He's shown he could finish second ahead of uh, underneath one of the best. Uh, Premier League side to ever win the league in Man City when Guardiola came in. I think he's shown that he can perform at that level, but what he does need is he does need a team full of winners, a team full of leaders that you can kind of give instructions to and they can kind of up and they can kind of, you know, do the instructions on the pitch. He also needs a structure in and around the club that's going to allow him to kind of bring the players that he wants in and it's going to allow him to kind of get rid of the players he doesn't want very quickly. I think without that, he's not going to succeed. There's rumors coming out now that supposedly he wants to, um, Ramajila looking to hire him after hiring, um, after kind of uh, appointing Solari in the summer which I wouldn't be surprised I wouldn't be surprised if he went to Inter Milan even though Spalletti is probably still going to be there there are loads of clubs he can still go and win top honours with but he's going to need a club that has that structure in and around him maybe his style of play isn't the best to look at but I think he's probably in the same vein of a Diego Simeone if he's given the players who believe in his vision maybe that's maybe that's been damaged maybe his reputation amongst players has been damaged as well maybe people are talking behind the scenes or in the footballing circles that maybe Mourinho's way of handling players isn't the best but I still think if you if you give him a team full of winners a team full of leaders Mourinho can still get the best out of most players and still win top honours I think you don't come, you don't become a, a turd overnight in terms of managerial sense. Usually, it's a decline that you can, can kind of stem back to over a long period of time. I think the fact that he's won trophies at United still, even with the arguments, even with the firefights he's had with the press, with the boardroom, I think goes to show that there's still a lot of ability in there going forward. I think for United, for us going forward, selfishly, I can't wait to see who we hire next. I'm a little bit dubious about the whole hiring of McKenna and um, and Carrick for the next two days, and another manager, and another manager. But I'm hoping regardless that we take our time we make an informed decision and sooner rather than later we have a bit of more of a good vibe going forward and look what's happened now i'm a little bit more excited about the psg game i'm a little bit more excited about the, uh, the january transfer window not because of just transfers and getting a player in i want to i want to see a bit of a change in the squad overall i want to see maybe people get rotated i want to see maybe people get rested some people maybe uh get sold some people might, might take a bit of a back seat i want to see a bit of a freshness a bit of a a bit of a new atmosphere a bit of a a bit of a new manager bump going forward and I think that's going to serve the best possible purpose for us going forward I think even though we're 11 points off I think the top four I still think there's points there to be gained I think there's a, still a campaign that we need to kind of go forward with I think if we are able to string string together a couple a few wins 
uh, a few clean sheets, some good performances from our attacking players. I think that kind of bounce going forward would held us in a good stead in order to try and finish the top four and maybe have a good Champions League run going forward. I'm over the moon. I can't wait. I'd love to hear your comments. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think and who you'd like to see as next United manager going forward. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank <sighs> you.